Welcome to Village Players TV on YouTube. I'm Stephen Sussman, a member of the Birmingham Village Players and Playwrights at Work, and thank you for tuning in. Tonight we're presenting Matsubrai the Movie, which is a short film based on a one-act comedy I wrote a number of years ago. It focuses on two young adult women who have come home to Chicago to celebrate the Passover holiday with their divorced father, who wants them to meet his new Italian girlfriend with some unexpected results. Passover, as you probably know, is a Jewish holiday that takes place each spring, celebrating the biblical exodus from Egypt. In recognition of their hurried departure, Jews during Passover refrain from eating leavened bread, and as such, eat unleavened matzah and other kosher foods. Matzah brai is a traditional breakfast dish comprised of eggs, matzah of course, and a number of other ingredients, as you'll soon find out. This play started out as a short, which is actually now the opening scene of the film. I then developed it into a one act, which the movie's based upon, and then it has been expanded into a full length play. I hope sometime you'll have a chance to see the entire full length version. But getting back to our movie, this film was directed by Alan Canning of A2 Creative and produced in association with Denver Roshan of Flim Flam Films. It features a superb cast starring Paul Lang, Rachel Biber, Amy Lauder, Colleen Gentry, Kim Crushan, Jason Dilley, and Kayla Biber, along with a very talented technical crew. At the end of our show, there'll be a PayPal link shown. The same PayPal link is also listed below on the YouTube page. To make a donation to the Birmingham Village Players, simply click on the link. We'd really appreciate it. However, if you're unable to donate at this time, we understand. We hope that you and yours continue to stay safe during these uncertain times, and we thank you for tuning in. So, without further ado, please sit back, relax, grab a beverage of your choice, either kosher or non, and enjoy Matsubrai, the movie. Sit in a ponder and I sift through the cabinets Consult the cookbooks, my parents the rabbinate I talk with the neighbors, all wearing sweaters Scratching their heads, why can't matzah be better? They ask one another, they wonder aloud They're pacing and thinking and now it's a crowd And then it comes to me, I quiet the group I know how to make this matzah improve I'm sure it'll work, let's Give it a try, let's take this matzah and then add some brai. With wings made of cherry jam, sugar and syrup, I'm flying on matzah brai. Eggs and some sizzle, all in the griddle, I'm flying on matzah brai. My recipe's working out just in my tummy. More than just tasty, more than just yummy. They're seasoned, but they're very doughy. You know, I thought they were like tennis balls, but they're, they're, not, they're not like tennis balls. I think they're more like, they're more like squash balls. Do you need to go into therapy over your matzo balls? Are you serious? With cherry jam, sugar and syrup, I'm flying my matzo Eggs and some sizzle, all in the griddle, I'm flying my Spelling is it was
God damn it, who the hell are you? And you should know, I I'm armed. It's me. Your sister Liz. Oh, you can put the shoe down. I'm not about to attack you with a sofa cushion. What exactly are you doing anyway? <sighs> Me? I'm destroying my shins. Mm. What about you? What the hell are you doing here in Dad's living room? Mm, never mind that. What the hell are you doing here? <clears throat> what the hell time is it anyway? 3.15. Jesus Christ, kids! What? If I was back in New York, it would be at least 4.30. Oh, nice. Is that what you did after Mom's? You went out to the bars to get hammered? <sighs> Big goddamn deal. So I wanted to catch up with a few friends. I did not go out to get hammered. What the hell's wrong with wanting to see a few old friends? Nothing, I guess. <sighs> but we did tell Dad we'd have breakfast with him in the morning. Yeah, so what? Besides, he's just going to make his old standby matzo brai like he always does. Sounds <sighs> weird, doesn't it? Matzo brai? I mean, what the hell kind of name is that for a breakfast dish? I got to pee. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Are you kidding me? What? God, you know how Dad feels about smoking, especially in his own apartment. Fine. I thought you quit. I did. All right, well, about breakfast. Remember, Dad wants us to meet this new woman in his life. I don't think I'm ready for meeting Mitch's new love. What, you mean Dad? Yeah, Dad. Mitch, what the hell's the difference? Uh, the difference is, he's your dad. Okay, fine. But I still don't think I'm up for it. Well, it's important to him, and after all he's done for you over the years, the least you could do is be here, be presentable, and... Be awake, sort of. I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. <sighs> yeah, right. What's her name, anyway? Oh, uh, Nicole, I think. Nicole. I think. <laughs> not Jewish. <laughs> Probably not, no. <laughs> hey, what are you gonna do with that pizza in there? So what's the story on this Nicole? I mean, why is she interested in Dad? Why shouldn't she be interested in Dad? Why are you so surprised? What's wrong with Dad? No reason, but it's Dad. So? He's not bad looking for a man his age, and he still takes good care of himself. Well, he and Mom have been divorced for what? Six years now? Why shouldn't he be seeing someone? No reason, I guess. So let's be nice to her in the morning and make a good impression for his sake. She's not here, is she? I mean, in there with him? That would be way too awkward. Oh, no. I mean, I really don't think I could handle it if I heard heavy breathing coming from oh, there. Oh, really, Carrie? And the bed squeaking. Oh, my God. Would I you mean, just... Can you imagine if he had her panting and screaming? Will in you there? please I would totally shut lose it. up? She came out here wearing nothing but a towel. I mean, can you picture it? Oh, oh, oh bitch! My oh, bitch! <laughs> my God, you were so deranged. You think? Yes, <laughs> I do. Just let it go. And get rid of that pizza before Dad gets up, or he'll be pissed. So 
what about you? <sighs> what about me? Why aren't you staying at some fancy schmancy hotel? I mean, you can certainly afford it. And where are Doug and the boys? <sighs> Doug couldn't make it. He had some kind of big staff meeting in Cambridge. And the kids had school stuff, so I came in by myself. There's no problem, is there? There's no problem. And what is up with Dad's bathroom? Nicole. Nicole. You sure there's no problem? Mm-hmm. God. Well, if there's no problem, why not somewhere else? Why not at Mom's? Is it because of Mom's boyfriend who's always over there? Well. I mean, I can't say I blame you. Jesus, he's so arrogant, so it's, full of himself. It's not that. I mean, he acts like he's God's gift to Mom. Carrie. And he thinks he knows everything. I mean, Jesus, he is so damn condescending. Carrie. What? It's not that. I just, I thought it would be easier, that's all. Mom's way out in the suburbs, and this way I can get in a quick run before breakfast without feeling rushed. Fine, but why here on the sofa? Well, I thought it was kind of silly staying at a hotel when I could just stay here with Dad's, and I don't know, I feel kind of funny staying at a hotel by myself. It feels lonely. <laughs> lonely? I mean, that does not sound like the Liz I knew after college. Hey, things change. I'm different, you know? Is, is different bad? No. It's just different. But it does feel good being back here at Dad's. It's cozy. It's comfortable. At least it was until my sleep was disturbed by a Tasmanian devil crashing into the furniture at 3.15 in the morning. Yeah. You didn't say a word at dinner about how you were doing. Nothing's going on but the rent. Good night. And you didn't say anything about your play or that grant that you were applying for? Or... Didn't happen. Or that Spanish actor, what was his name? Javier or something? The one who swept you off your feet? He... He's a thing of the past. Oh. 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 I'm sorry, Carrie. I, I, I didn't know. I thought it was all a done deal. Look, I'm really tired. I just want to go to bed, okay? Good night. Hey, Carrie? What is it, Liz? I'm sorry. Yeah. Good night. No! I am, really. Thanks. See you in the morning? Yeah. Sleep well. Liz. Yeah. Go to bed. Okay, okay. Good night. What the hell? What's the matter? You don't have anything on. <laughs> what do you call this? I call that half naked. You really need to get dressed. Mm, why, last night you seemed to like me with even less uh, on. Shh, that was last night. And even then it kind of freaked me out. Since when did you get a sudden attack of morality? Well, since my girls are in and spending the night here. I don't think you need to worry about setting an example. Uh, they are grown women after all. And where are well, uh, Liz, the they, older uh, one. Yeah, she went out for a run. She could be back at any time now. <laughs> and the younger daughter. And Carrie is still sleeping. Yeah. She got in late last night, from what I understand. I heard some uh, banging around in the wee hours. Well, I oh. didn't hear a thing. I was uh. out like a light. <laughs> Good sex does that to me. Well, I am glad that I can contribute to your <laughs> sound sleep. And. Uh, Hopefully some pleasant dreams. Oh, yes, you did. <laughs> yes. Hope you slept well, too. I did, yes. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> now, I hate to be a nudge, but would you please go get dressed? 
much. I was hoping you were going to show me how you make this matzo brie I keep hearing so much about. It's not brie, it's brie. What's brie? The dish. The name of the dish is matzo brie. And we'll discuss me letting you in on my culinary secrets after you're dressed and presentable. Why is it called brie? It just is. I don't know why. You're upset with me. <sighs> I'm not upset. You're ashamed of me? Uh, no, it's you just You don't want your daughters to know you're dating a Catholic woman. No, that's not it. I am not ashamed. Definitely not. You're a successful realtor. You're very attractive. And you're fun to be with. <laughs> the fact that you're not Jewish plays no part in this whatsoever. Really. Okay? Okay. Now would you please get dressed? You're sure you're not ashamed uh, of me? I'm absolutely sure. Okay, and you'll show me how to make that matzah braai after I'm dressed? We'll see. Now, Nicole, please, I'm begging you, get dressed. Okay. Back in a minute. <laughs> Kaplan. Oh, um, actually, it's a uh, Weiner now. Um, I don't know if you remember me, but we went to Northwestern, took a couple of classes, hung out with that weird Shakespeare group. <laughs> anyway, uh, crap, I'm sorry. I hate leaving voicemails. Anyway, um, uh, I live in Boston now, but I'm in town for the next couple of days, and, and uh, I was wondering if you were still involved in that theater group. Um, I... Hello? Hello? Crap! It's Jonah, leave me a message. Hi, it's Liz again. Sorry, I got cut off. Anyway, the reason I'm calling is my younger sister, Carrie. Um, she's quite talented. She's brilliant, actually. Uh, she's in town, too, by the way. And uh, she wrote this play. It was supposed to be produced off-Broadway, but that fell through. I'm not really sure what happened. But anyway, I, I was wondering, if you're still involved with that theater group, maybe you'd be interested in uh, meeting up with her and taking a look at her piece. No obligation or anything, but, it, you know, who knows? I mean, this could be a good opportunity for the both of you. Um, so, yeah, uh, so if you're interested, um, give me a call back at this number and we can, um, uh, talk. Okay, um, take care. Bye. Shit! God, could I have been more awkward? Jesus. Uh, hi, Doug. Yeah, hi. Had a few secs, so how's it going? <sighs> Everything's fine. Yeah. Yeah, they're great. How are the boys? They're fine. We're getting along fine without you for the moment. Are they doing their homework? <sighs> yeah. Yes, yes, no worries. Don't let them goof off. They spend way too much time on the computer and playing Xbox as it is. Yeah, I, okay, got it. Let them, let them play Xbox, okay. Uh, so when are you coming home? I don't know. I don't know when I'll be home, Doug. Why do you ask? Because I've got some stuff going on, Liz! Oh, really? Don't you think you should have thought of that before you decided to take a personal interest in that new resident you decided to mentor? 
Oh, oh, oh. What the hell is her name anyway? Camille. Candace. Her name's Carlene, by the way. I don't give a shit about her name, Doug. What I give a shit about is my husband taking late hours with his new attractive young protege Liz. under some misguided advisor obligation. We're writing a paper together. Oh, bullshit, Doug. I know that the duties of the mentoring physician do not include late night meetings at bars until two in the morning. You are completely overreacting, nothing happened. Please, I am not that naive. Will you kindly do me the <sighs> look? I, courtesy of Liz, not treating me as though I were a mongoloidal idiot? Liz, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm not Liz, completely look. oblivious to what goes on around me. I am in charge of the Sit laundry, down. remember? Look at each other. I know the smell of a perfume okay? that's not mine. Look, Liz, we're gonna have to sit down and, you know, actually talk about this. Yes, you're right, I'm sorry. We do need to sit down and talk about this, but not now. I don't, I don't know what's gonna happen next, Doug, I really don't. I gotta go. Later, bye. Hi, Mom. Oh, you are? Oh. No, no, I'm sure everybody would love to see you. Okay, okay, great. Okay, all right, bye. I'm not exactly sure why we have to do this anyway, this family breakfast thing. Well, because I want the people who I care about my life to meet each other. Okay, so where are they? Well, Liz is getting ready and Carrie is still sleeping. Okay, so are you going to tell me? Tell you? Tell you what? You know, your secret recipe for this matzah, what is it again? Bry. And, uh, well, I'm not sure. Not sure? Not sure about what? Well, I'm not sure that I can divulge my secret recipe to you. <laughs> You're joking, right? Well, it's just that I... It's just that I'm not Jewish. Uh, so no. why do I need to know how to make this matzah bry dish? Is that it? Look, Nicole, I've never told anyone my secret recipe, okay? No, no one, no, no one at all. No, why no. not? What's it, like some kind of government secret? Well, actually, it is some kind of a secret, yes. Well, I can see the matzah and eggs on the counter. Well, you are correct. Matzah and eggs are both in the recipe. Are you going to tell me what else is in it or not? Well... I know, I'm sworn to secrecy. For Christ's sake, Mitch, we've been sleeping together for six months now. I think I can be trusted with this sensitive, classified information, don't you? Mitch? Look, Nicole, I've never told anyone my secret recipe, and that's that. Fine, Mitch, just fine. Hi, Dad. Oh, hi, honey. How was your run? It was good. Yeah? Also, quite illuminating. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Uh, Liz, this is my lady friend, Nicole Cavallari. How do you do? I'm Liz, the eldest. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. I'm honored that your father has decided to include me in your holiday breakfast celebration. Oh, well, we're all honored. <laughs> oh, it smells great, Dad. Is there coffee? Sure, honey, right here. Oh, don't forget the milk for the bride this time. Milk? Hmm. Hey, oh, morning everyone. Morning, Pumpkin. How'd you sleep? <sighs> Fine, <laughs> eventually. Oh, I'm Carrie, and you are? I'm Nicole. Oh, yeah, I know who you are. 
You're the woman Mitch is hiding his salami in. Gary! What? What? I'm sorry. I guess what I meant to say is, uh, you're the new woman that Your my father fa has been seeing. Yeah. So, uh, what's your story? Are you some, uh, another professor of some yada yadaology or something? No, actually, I'm a realtor. Oh, yeah? Oh, yes. Nicole found a great apartment for a colleague of mine in the anthropology department. And we met while she was showing the apartment. And I guess you could say we kind of hit it off. Mm, cool. Look, is there any coffee? Sure, honey. In the kitchen. Oh, I hope you don't forget the pepper this time. I'm so glad you decided to join the land of the living. Oh, I'm here, aren't I? And presentable? Oh, I'm as presentable as anyone who had a small man-made lake of vodka has any right to be. I have to return this call, Mitch. I'll be back in a sec. What? Oh, I guess I'm just not as perfect as some people. Some people meaning who? You, Miss Perfect. I'm not all that perfect. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> sure you are. Perfect career, perfect husband, perfect kids, perfect life, perfect everything. It's all just so, so perfect. Trust me, it's not all perfect. It's not even close. Yeah, right. Name one thing that's not perfect. Well, it's not really something I want to discuss right now. Carrie, I think you should Yeah, you don't want to sister's... talk about it because you don't want to make me feel worse in comparison to your ideal existence. You don't understand. Understand what? The sublime perfection of your life and the complete and utter disaster of mine? It's not that. that I'm it's a just total a... burnout loser and you're the perfect wife and mother. No, it's Married just like... to the perfect Dr. Hunt. Harry, it's not perfect! It's not. What's not? My life! Damn it! My marriage, my perfect doctor husband, he's not so perfect, trust me. I knew it. He's a shit, isn't he? An absolute shit. Carrie, please. No, he is not a total shit. <sighs> yeah, I guess he pretty much is. I knew it. I knew he was too good to be true. What did he do, that son of a I'd bitch? I'd really rather not get into it right now. Tell me. I have a right to know. Harry, you do not have a right to Tell know. Tell me, what did he do? I mean, if he hurt you, no, I swear. No, it was I'll, uh, like that. I'll, uh, I'll rip his balls off. That's Harry! what I'll do. Harry, really? I will, so help me God with my bare hands. Will you just chill? Wait a minute. You aren't planning on having any more kids, are you? I, I mean, with Doug. I don't know why you would want this to, This really just in case, isn't I... something I want to get into right now. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. My God, I wasn't thinking. Well, maybe I should just rip off one of his balls. I mean, I mean, just in case. Dad, you're the scientist in the family. I mean, can a man produce with only one testicle? I mean, can he actually produce, you know, viable sperm with only one uh, ball. I mean, I don't want to mess up Liz's family plans, even if her husband is a shit. I don't know. Oh, I guess so. I mean, if there's viability in one testicle. Really, Mitch? a preference? Which one? Ball, I mean, because it doesn't really matter to me. I just want Carrie! Wanna... What? I don't want you to rip Doug's balls off. Oh, really? Not even one? Uh, no, not one. Not any. It's 
not necessary. We have a problem and I will deal with it. We will deal with it. You will. I will deal with it when we get home. You can be sure of that. Sweetheart, if you need us to do anything, anything at all, that's what families are for. Thanks, Dad. But I think I got this one under control. Yeah, hi, Liz. Hi, Doug. Look, I've been doing some thinking. Um, I'm not ready to throw our lives away just yet. I, we have kids. I do know that things will not continue the way they have. There are issues, Doug. There are serious issues with our marriage that need to be dealt with. Oh, hold on, Doug. Hang on just a second. I have another call. No. Hey, who, who's hey, there? Look. Liz, we need to talk about this, okay? It's your, it's your mama, and you can talk to her in just a few minutes, okay, pal? Go play in the street. I mean, don't play in the street. Hello, Jonah. Oh, I'm so glad you called me back. Um, could you hang on just a second? I have another call. No, 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 no. I really want to talk to you. Could you just hang on? Okay, thanks. Doug, I got to call you back. I need to take this call. Wait, wait. Liz, we need to talk about this. Who is calling you who's so damn important that you can't speak to your own husband. It's Jonas Stern. I knew him from my days at Northwestern. Oh, Northwestern days. Oh, that makes it okay. No, he's interested in Carrie's yeah, play. Yeah, not interested in him though, apparently. No, Doug, I am not interested in Jonah. I... Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, what, what, do you, what is this, like a little, little payback oh, in no, order? This is not payback, Doug. I'm not a vindictive person. Yeah, well, I, I, I don't trust you. He's gay, Doug. God. I have to go. I, I'll, I'll talk to you later. All right, fine. Yes, All right. soon. All right, fine. Later. Your son. Hi, Jonah. Hey, Lizzie. I'm so glad you called me back. Listen, I... I'm interested in the play. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, that's so great. Oh, my gosh. No, I know she, she'll, Carrie will be thrilled. I'm pressed for time. Can we meet tomorrow? Tomorrow. Um, oh, I'm leaving tomorrow. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, Look, I'm going to be out of town after that um, on a national tour, so. Can I? You know what, can I call you back and, and let you oh, know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That sure. Sounds good. Maybe we can meet for okay. dinner, drinks, something Okay, like that. yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Sounds great. Okay, thanks, Jonah. Okay. Okay, bye. I want to share something with you, and I don't want you to get well, like you get. What? I talked to an old college friend of mine. He's involved in local theater, and I told him about your script. You did what? I told him you had a script that you were trying to get produced, and he's interested. Liz, who exactly is this old college friend that you told about my script? His name is Jonas Stern. He's and you told him about my script? Yes. I thought it would be all right. I'm sorry. I was only trying to help. Jonas Stern. You told Jonas Stern about my script. Jesus Christ, Liz. Easy, pumpkin. Y yeah, yes. I, th I, I, I thought he could help. I understand he's very influential in the no Chicago shit. theater scene. shit. I mean, Jonas Stern is a goddamn genius. He is? Hell yeah. I mean, Anybody who's doing anything that's new and, and different in theater knows who Jonas Stern is. He could be anywhere. He could be in New York or, or London or, or anywhere, but he's, he's in Chicago because he loves it here. So you're not mad? Mad? No, I'm, uh, I'm delirious. I'm ecstatic. I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm, I think my nipples are hard. Scary! What? When does he want to meet? Uh, I thought we could meet up later today, tonight. I don't know. He says he's available, if that's okay with you. Oh, you bet your ass that's okay with me. Jonas Stern. Unfriggin' believable. I thought you were leaving tomorrow. Oh, I pushed my flight back a day. Well, okay, I'll... I'll... Call him after breakfast and confirm. Oh, thanks, Liz, really. Oh, it's okay, I'm, I'm happy to do it. This could be like that opportunity. 
<laughs> You're right. But you know, if this thing works out between you and Jonah, you may have to move back here to Chicago. You're right. I might have to. I mean, if this works out, I, I guess I better start looking for an apartment. Well, I just happen to know a good realtor that would be delighted to work with you. Thanks, Nicole, but no. You'll stay here with me. Ah, uh, if you want to. At least until you figure out what you're doing. <laughs> um, Mitch, do you really think that's such a good idea? I mean, Carrie is a grown woman with her own life, and I'm sure she values her privacy. Uh, yeah, Dad, I mean, are you sure about this? I'm absolutely sure. My daughter will stay with me under my roof until you're ready to get a place of your own. No rush, and that's final. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. Oh, I'll, get, I'll get it. I wonder who that could be. Were you expecting anyone else? Not that I know of. Hello, Mitch. I hope this isn't a surprise. Uh, hi, Ellen. Wow, I, uh, I didn't realize that... Oh, my God. You didn't know. He didn't know? Oh, I am so sorry. When I spoke to Liz earlier, I was under the impression that I was invited. Okay, this is embarrassing. Uh, maybe I should just go. Uh, no, no, it's, it's, it's fine. You know, we always said the more the merrier. But where's... Uh... Victor. Yeah. Oh, I finally broke it off with him last night. I just couldn't take him anymore. <laughs> Arrogant son of a bitch that he is. And he said mom's gefilte fish was dry. And that her matzo balls were doughy. Oh. Doughy. He said my matzo balls were doughy. I mean, what the hell does that mean? Have my matzo balls ever been doughy? No. I always thought they were great. Doughy. <laughs> Not at all. Thank you. Oh, <clears throat> oh I'm terribly sorry. You have company. You know, maybe I really should get no, going. No, 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 no. It's, it's fine. Uh, Nicole, uh, this is Ellen Kaplan, my ex-wife, and Ellen, this is my friend, Nicole Cavallari. <laughs> so nice to finally meet you. Nice, nice to meet you, too. It's good to know that Mitch has someone in his life. <laughs> yes, we've been seeing each other for six months now. Seven. Actually, seven and a half. Seven. Of course. Well, everything's ready. Maybe we should sit down to eat. That sounds great. <sighs> oh. oh, I'm looking forward to having your matzo bry again. It's been a while. <laughs> oh, it smells yummy. You didn't forget the onions, did you? Onions? Onions? Nobody knows the recipe, hmm? Not a single soul. Onions? Nicole, is everything okay? What are you doing? Are you going somewhere? Culinary secret, hmm? A secret everyone in the room knows about except for... <sighs> you know, I'm so... Terribly sorry, but I really must be leaving now. I, I seem to have forgotten that I uh, uh, have a showing today. And, and Nicole, I don't... Please enjoy your brie or bry or whatever. Nicole, honey, I don't remember anything about a showing. Are you sure? Nicole, what's wrong? Onions, Mitch, really? Onions, secret recipe. Oh, God. Oh, onions. Now, onions. Mm, onions. I wonder what that was all about. 
Let me guess, uh, family recipe? <laughs> Culinary secret, huh? Can't share the details, can we? Hmm? Little vague on the ingredients, were we? <laughs> Just like your mother. Yeah. Shall we eat? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. This is really good, Dad. Yeah. Really good. Mmm. I love the onions. Mm -hmm. Excellent, as always, Mitch. Mm, yeah. Well, I'm glad you are enjoying it. Are you kidding? I mean, this is better than good. Way better. Mm. This, this is fucking great. Terry! What? I sit and I ponder and I sift through the cabinets Consult the cookbooks, my parents the rabbinet I talk with the neighbors, all wearing sweaters Oh yeah, I know who you are. You're the woman who's boning my dad. Carrie! What? Oh yeah, I know who you are. You're the woman who's riding Mitch's hobby horse. Hey, Carrie! What? Oh yeah, I know who you are. You're the one woman who's bumping uglies with Mitch. Carrie! What? You're the woman who's doing the nasty with Mitch. Carrie! What? You're the woman who's getting it on with Mitch. Carrie! What? Is, Stop is your self worth you, attached to your matzo balls? Oh, yeah, I know who you are. You're the one who's doing the booty bone dance with Mitch. Carrie! What? That was a booty bow dance! Oh my god, my daughter's in the back Oh, yeah, I know who you are. You're the woman Mitch is hiding his salami in. Carrie! What? <laughs> I didn't get in there yet. Hey, you know, later when we're done, it, we can take some of these matzo balls and play tennis, I think. It looks like they're pretty so funny. <laughs> So, okay, it's your, it's your mama, and you can talk to her in just a few minutes, okay, pal? Go play in the street. I mean, don't play in the street. I mean, go play on the swings. I mean, stay right here. <laughs> Even then, it kind of freaked me out. Why? <laughs> Why? Why tell that to fuck Oh, my God. You know what? It's none of your business. Again with the alpha. Jeff's gonna get it. For Christ's sake, bitch, we've been fucking like dogs for six months. Oh, wow! Whoa! For Christ's sake, for, for Christ's sake, bitch, we've been fucking. Fuck balls, what I'm gonna say. Here, why? For Christ's sake, bitch, we've been through it. We, mm, what, do we, what do bunnies do? They copulate? No, what do they do? They, for Christ's sake, bitch, we've been bumping uglies for six months. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting nasty. Getting nasty? Oh, that just sounds weird, like a pencil. Oh, been getting nasty for the last... <laughs> can't say that one. Okay, for Christ's sake. Wait. Okay, um, wait. Stooping? I like that, because I want to make fun of you. What? Take something. Take something. Uh, uh.